Hi, my name is Sharon Scovanner, and I live at 155 Overlook Drive. Um, I've spoken recently with numerous members of council, um, including Mr. Ori, when he stopped by my house to um, give me some literature. Also, Mr. Bateman, who also came to my house last week so we could talk further about annexation. I've also spoken recently to Mr. Blair at the um, committee appreciation dinner and also Mr. Butler, I spoke to him there as well. And there's been a lot of debate and at times we've agreed to disagree. Um, this disagreement is not negative. Um, it's not, it should not be considered a negative, but a way to understand each other's point of view. I have also had productive meetings, discussions with Dave Kennedy and I appreciate his time, Tom Smith and also Mark Medler. And I appreciate all of the time that I've had to speak with you. Um, I consider the best results always when dialogue, when there is dialogue, each person defending their positions, and that's how democracy works, when it's working well. Governing bodies succeed when there is open sharing of facts, discussion, deliberation, and at times, compromise. A couple of weeks ago, all the city council candidates were invited to attend a, a meeting um, at our HOA meeting, and Mr. Butler, Hart, Phelps, and Ms. Lukens attended, and we appreciate them for coming. Um, at our meeting, there was spirited debate about the development of Blossom Hill, um, as well as the annexation of the rail property, the proposed parking garage, all of which have significant impact on traffic, especially in the area of Warren County where we live. Mr. Phelps and Hart took a lot of tough questions, and it was um, kind of putting your feet in the fire, and we appreciated, appreciated them standing in there. Um, as the residents were really concerned about the disproportionate detrimental effect each of these developments would have on the residents in Warren County. Hopefully they heard the collective and heartfelt voices of the residents. Mr. Phelps stayed after the meeting and talked further about the issues, which was, mo which was mo most appreciated. He suggested that I add my na name to the agenda of the next meeting and we would, we would be able to discuss this further. So I, t I attempted to do so. Um, Rule 19 of the Loveland Council states any person, group, or delegation wishing to be placed on the agenda is to, to appear before council, shall direct a letter to the clerk, and it must be received no later than 12 noon on the Thursday before the meeting. So despite following Rule 19 specifically, I received an email from Misty, the clerk of council, that read, Sharon, Mayor Bailey has declined your request to be placed on the agenda and suggested that you speak during open forum. Wow, if Mayor Bailey doesn't want to hear from the citizens of Loveland, maybe being mayor is not for her. According to Rule 19, the mayor has no authority whatsoever to deny a request to appear on the agenda. Just because the mayor doesn't like what a citizen has to say does not give her the right to try to silence them. <clears throat> If you look at the organizational chart of the city, one of the one and only one group is at the top, and it's not the mayor, it's not the city council, it's not businesses or developers, it's the citizens. This is the top of the chart, and it's the citizens. Allowing active participation of the citizenry should be the goal of any functioning democracy and should be insisted upon by all who are in the position of power. In 2017, a group known as the Loveland Community Heartbeat Pack, led by Mr. Ori, um, who, according to his signs, is our community advocate, initiated a recall of Mayor Mark Fitzgerald. And the grounds for the removal were conducting city operations and meetings in a manner which prohibits full participation of all council members, resident involvement, and transparency. And number two, willing, willingfully and flagrantly exercising authority and power without the consent of the residents electorate or city council. 2017 was a dark time for the city of Loveland and Mayor Bailey is returning us to some of those same dark days. Over the past few months, Mayor Bailey has pro prohibited full participation of all council members and resident involvement by one, denying my request to be, the, to be on the agenda, to try to limit my time for speaking from 10 minutes to five, even though I was invited by Mr. Phelps to be here telling another resident, Dave Stanton, that he couldn't speak, only to be admonished by 
um, Mr. Braun, our law director, because she overreached.